hi friends using case in our queries we can match it against any condition or against any values we are inside our mysql workbench so we'll start with our database my tutorial inside this this sample student table is there with around 35 rows of uh, student details each uh, row has got one class where uh, each record uh, student is belong to one class 1 2 3 4 like that now we'll assign flows to these classes so we'll say select id name class mark gender now we'll use one more column which we should by case case mm. now we are using the column class now we'll say when when this is equal to say 4 then we'll say it is first floor second condition checking when these are we are matching against the value so you can say this class value is equal to 5 then we then give it second floor this second floor and all are strings we are assigning fine again when this is let's say 3 then third floor so we can continue further let's add one more when class equal to say 2 then again we can say this belongs to first floor else what about the rest of the which is not 4 5 3 or 2 which these classes are not there then we'll say else we'll say ground floor now we'll end our end uh, as location so this case where this is a one more column like you can imagine it is a column we are adding and the column name is location now and it takes the values like this then uh, we will say from student let us run this yeah, you can see each is uh, student is allotted one based on the class 4 first floor class 3 third floor 3 third floor so each student is allotted one location column is added to each record and uh, by using the case its a value is matched and if nothing is matched then they are given as ground floor you can see the else condition also here many ground floors are there class 6 is not included in the case then so it is given as ground floor so these are all the examples of matching the values we can add order by to this also so it will be in a particular order class uh, location so we'll say order by location let's run this you can see all first all first floor then then it is second floor third floor then all ground floors are listed now we'll match against a condition so we'll start once more with select id name class mark gender comma now we'll start the case case when what it is mark mark is greater than equal to 90 then we are assigning grades to each student based on their mark so we are comparing with uh, mark value and assigning grade now let's go back when mark is greater than equal to 80 then b when mark greater than equal to 70 then value is c you can further break it if required else else it is fail now end as as okay end as great end as <coughs> great 
now this is from student fine now let us run this where yeah you can see based on their marks mark is 75 c grade 85 b grade anything not uh, less than 70 is marked as fail so b there is no a grade okay you can see yeah it is 94 and it is a grade so based on this like this you can uh, assign grades to this there is a important things to remember here you see once a when one condition is matched then subsequently conditions are not checked so that has a implication because say we are here we are always starting from the top and coming down now let's say i will just copy this code and paste it before greater than or 70 i am checking it first and then going for say we'll say it next line will press it and the if i'll changing the reverse there will be one issue the reason is once a when condition is checked rest of the conditions are not checked so anything say i am putting 95 if the first condition it is also greater than 70 and it is also greater than 90 so it will be uh, having a grade of c and having also having a grade of a so it will assign a wrong grade of c so we have to take care that the first condition which is likely to be satisfied should be kept at the top let us run this and check what mistake we are getting here you see this is a higher mark will go all are given c grade because 85 is also greater than c if you see as per our condition 85 should be in the b grade because the first it is checked that 85 is more than 70 that is why it is assigned c grade and gone to the next row so that is why we have to judiciously assign check the first the higher grade then come to lower grade so we will just correct it for our references we will put it here then we will put the b grade here then c grade fine so we will this way we will run this in our grade calculation query now we will use between so let us start with again select id then name class mark gender now we will come to case when mark between between 90 sorry 90 and 100 then grade is a we will take it to next line yeah so now this will copy paste it here now we'll say 80 80 and 89 it is always in the incremental order order and both ends are included so this should be grade b fine now let's come paste it so it is now we'll go to 79 sorry 70 to 79 then it is grade c we'll say else fail now we'll say end as grade from student student our table name so let us end this and see you can see now the same the result 75 85 is b grade 55 is fail 85 let us see some a grade also a grade 94 is a grade so this is how we can use between our command also in along with our case you you can read our tutorial on group by where we are counted the number of students in a particular class or in all classes by using group by clause now we'll use the same concept but now we'll find out using case how many male or how many female students are there in the classes so we'll say select class now we'll say count star as total 
Now, let us just uh, for our refresh, we will just go through our old query without using case now as total. Now, we will say from student group by group by let us say class better to make maintain upper case letter for all the group by class. Now, this query will return all the number of student this you can read more about this also in our uh, group by video tutorial. So, fine this is gives me against each class how many records are there. So, how many students are there this list. Now, we will use case along with this to break it off how many uh, male are there how many female are there. So, let me give a comma here now I will say some case when gender equal to let us say male then 1 else 0. Now, we will end it here as male. So, this is the string part. Now, I will same thing I will just copy this some case when gender is equal to female then 1 and else 0 end as we will say female. Fine. So, that is all. So, this comma we have to remove from student group by class. Let us run this. Yeah, you can see the same total is given, but now we have got a break off of male and female in a in the classes. Uh, this is class four is nine, so four males uh, and female student is five. So like this break up also we are getting, and we have used case comparison or case uh, checking against the value. 